All right, it's Monday morning. We're ready to fire up. We're ready to go for the week. Can men, can men have balance? If so, how? That's what we're going to cover today. That's what we're going to get into. So let's get into it. Um, welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, please do hit the love heart button. But what we want you to do in the comments, and one of the reasons um, I tried to get you to get engaged and involved here is because it really does help when you start writing things out. Okay, it's a great way to be able to um, embed things that we're talking about, reinforce some of the messages um, that we're talking about. And actually, it's pointless you sitting there just listening to me and actually um, not getting involved. So I want you to write down why you aren't balanced as much as you would like to be. Why does balance fall down in your life? Okay, and I want you to write that as I'm talking in the comments below. Let's see if we can get the majority of you getting involved, all right? And please do share this with somebody or your page with someone that might might need it. All right, so balance, okay? Balance, balance, balance. For me, um, the biggest cause of mental health for men, is, one of them is imbalance. Imbalance in their lifestyle. So we have four pillars and uh, we've always used four pillars in the man coach to give us order, to give us perspective on the most important things in life, uh, to give us structure, okay, to for help fortify our mind. And when we look at balance, we look at these four pillars to balance our time, our energy and our focus on, okay? So we use those three key attributes to focus balance on. Okay, so we have managing time, energy and focus between relationships, between your business slash career, your health and your personal development. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the balance between all of these things. And where it goes wrong is that we tend to put time, focus and energy into more, pillar, uh, more of one pillar than the others. And where this tends to happen for many men is that the pressures, the obligations, um, the self-pressure that's put on a man's like self to perform at work um, usually pulls them away from other pillars. Okay, and what we tend to have then is stress, frustration, unhappiness. Um, because we're not doing things that we want to do. We're not doing things that we feel will benefit us. So if, we're, if, if work completely consumes us mentally and emotionally, okay, and, and physically, and it draws us away, we can't necessarily focus on our personal development. We can't necessarily focus on our health. And we become disconnected with the people that we love the most, i.e. our children and our wives. And then things start to happen that are detrimental to the whole to the whole situation. Um, <clears throat> one of them being that we start to drink more to cope, okay, with the imbalance. And it's usually this pressure inside of your head and your chest that you feel like overwhelmed with everything. You got uh, you you put yourself under these responsibilities of I've got to bring in the money. I'm going to make sure everyone lives the lifestyle they want. I'm going to make sure that everyone's happy. I'm being drawn away from that. Does um, society, does masculinity in society say, oh, like, you should be more balanced? But I'm a man, I can't be, I can't be, I can't be balanced. And actually, the, the, the masculinity then of yourself becomes compromised or what you, the values and attributes that you feel uh, you have as a man, you don't feel that you can necessarily talk about them or express them because of the way that naturally there is this stigma for men, okay? Which I think we're slowly starting to unravel. So all of these things put us in that position where then mentally we're struggling. And, I, and like I've mentioned, we started um, on the drink. Some people take drugs. Some people have affairs. Some people start gambling. Um, <clears throat> some people just go within themselves and become depressed. Some become anxious. <clears throat> and then we start losing identity, right? So we're going down a path here. Um, and, and we start losing identity. We start getting lost in the process. And things start to happen, actually, you know, you're not living the life that you want to live. Okay, you start going 1% in the wrong direction. 
And this is all of a trigger of bad balance. And it doesn't happen overnight. It's like a process that happens over time, right? And this does happen. Like, I have been doing this job, like, four and a half years. I've spoken to many, 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 many men who have lost relationships because of imbalance, lost their health, lost their job. And by the way, imbalance, um, when it comes to putting too much pressure and uh, uh, amounts of pressure on yourself with the work, you can be made redundant at any point. So think about what you're doing. Think about all of the time and energy you're giving to your work. And then think about the energy and time you're not giving to the people that you love the most, to your body, to your mind, to your own personal development. And if you get made redundant, you've given all of that time and energy, but then suddenly been made redundant. And you've given it all, in theory, almost, you kind of like feel like it's been for nothing because actually, like, what am I left with? The things that matter the most are the things that we need to balance, right? So the things that we need to make sure we're aligning are health, relationships, personal development, those things that we need to make sure that we are focusing on to build the boundaries we need to have more balance. Now, for me, balance, one of the first things that we have to understand um, is where it's going wrong. And that becomes in when it's self-awareness, right? So self-awareness is absolutely top of the priority list when it goes to where's my time going? Where's my energy going? Where's my focus going? So being aware that actually, man, I'm spending too much time with work, I'm ex uh, expending too much energy at work and too much focus at work, so I need to do something about it. That's the first step, and that is acceptance of the situation. And when you can accept that, you can then start to do something about it, and until you realize there's a problem and an issue, you'll just keep going around in circles. So we need to be able to create boundaries, right? We call this SRS. So SRS is building structure, building routine, and building systems. If you like, it's a management system to be able to keep you in order, keep your time in order, keep your energy in order, and actually keep your focus in order. And we keep ourselves accountable. Um, we have routines and structures that allow us to focus on ourselves, that allow us to improve our mental strength, resilience, robustness, resolve, our physical and emotional conditioning. Um, and connect with the things that are important. So throughout a day, we will build a structure that allows you to have you time, that allows you to have family time, that allows you to have fitness time, but equally, you've got to go to work and do your work time. I'm not saying don't work, I'm saying go and do your eight, nine hours, go and do it, but then actually come back and be present at home. And also, it doesn't happen overnight as well. It takes persistence, it takes resilience, um, and it takes a lot of hard work and there will be times when you're trying to build balance along the way that actually you'll fall down, that things won't happen, that you'll work later, that you'll be on your phone, that you'll be on your computer. But it's flicking the switch and going, right, this is not the way that I want to live my life. Get off the computer, get off my phone, leave work and go home. And it takes time to adjust the program, the system that's going on in your brain where you're so used to just plowing yourself into your work and being in balance. Um, so the first step to get out of this is number one, have the self-awareness and acceptance that this is happening. Number two is to build up a, a structure, a routine and a system that allows you to focus on um, where your time, your energy and your focus is going amongst the four pillars. All right, Those four pillars are absolutely crucial. Mate, so where, where am I getting my health time? Where's my personal development time? Where's my... Um, Where's my relationship time? And then where's my business time? Most of the time you know where your business time is, okay? Because it's like either nine till five or it's your split shifts or it is whatever that shift is. And it's taking control of your time, energy and focus in those areas. Writing down, keeping a journal about how you're doing and how you're progressing so that you're actually connecting with what you're doing. Look at it as a project, okay? Look at it as... Um, uh, um, maybe a lifestyle change or a rewiring that we have to be accountable to. And when we write that it down or when we have a group to be accountable to, then you start recognizing when you're falling down and what the triggers are. So that's about as simple as I'm going to go into it. Balance is something that we work with clients on um, through the curriculum that we put out to guys. 
over and over and over again. It's something that we talk about a lot. I think, I think without balance, you're, you're going to burn out. You're going to pick up bad habits. You're going to be um, misfocused. Okay. Um, and it's about, it's about thinking about the bigger picture in life, right? When I look at people who throw themselves into their work, throw themselves into their job, they are career and uh, uh, ambitious human beings, some of them. Some of them are driven by pure obligation and, and fear, maybe not being able to give the family the lifestyle that they want, maybe um, fear of losing their job so they go above and beyond. But there are always knock-on consequences. There are all are always other people that it affects. And you have to understand that because if you don't understand that, you're going to keep doing what you're do- doing without, without, without stopping and stepping back and going, this is not sustainable. This is not sustainable. I cannot keep going like this. Um, so I think fighting forwards, I want you to go away from here and think to yourself, how can I be more balanced this week? And what I want you to do in the comments as part of your accountability, if you like, I want you to tell me what you're going to do this week. Just one thing, if you want two things, okay, one or two things this week to ensure that you stay more balanced, okay? Whatever that's going to be, it's up to you. What's a structure that you're going to put in place? What's a routine that you're going to put in place? What's a system you're going to put in place? So like, are you going to come home? So a system might be, are you going to come home, turn your phone off, stick it in another room or a drawer, and not turn that back on until all the kids have gone to bed so that you can connect with your wife and your kids when you come back. All right, that's an example of a system and being balanced. Okay, are you going to get up an hour earlier so that you can focus on some health, some mental health, some emotional health for yourself to make sure that actually you're in the right frame of mind, okay, and actually do something for you and then have breakfast with the family and then go to work rather than leaving work at a ridiculous time in the morning to make sure you're getting ahead, right? So there's lots of different things that you can look at. Everyone is in a different scenario, but what's one thing that you are going to do to become more balanced this week? All right, guys, um, listen, as well, also, we are opening up the doors for our five-day challenge. Um, five-day challenge is a great insight into how to start building yourself back up, okay, how to recognize problems like balance, self-awareness, how to improve that with like-minded men, all right? So I'm going to put the link up on this com- uh, on this post here um, <clears throat> and make sure that you come and join us. It's completely free, all right? It doesn't cost you a, pe- uh, uh, a penny. Five days of training with me, and we've got some great content coming up. So I'll see you on the other side.